Hey everyone, you are watching the Ready to Sew channel where I bring you plus size fashion, travel, and lifestyle content both on here and on my blog, readytosew.com. Today I am coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. We are here with Experience Columbus and we are here to experience Columbus. And we are going to figure out what makes Columbus the best staycation in Ohio. First of all, I can already tell you it has a great central location. It's a two hour drive from Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Cincinnati, and not too far from Detroit. So if you are in the surrounding areas, whether you're in Pennsylvania or, and also Kentucky's right there, like it's such a good central location. So you've got that going for it, but also there's so much arts. We're gonna see street art today. We're going shopping right now. We're at Easton, which actually is the best of art and shopping. Love it, love to see it. So we're gonna explore Easton. We're having brunch, going to so many different restaurants and of course we're going to see what makes Columbus one of the most LGBTQ friendly cities in Ohio and I'm really excited so let's go ahead and dive in. We're going in! Love it! We are now at Flower Child in Columbus. This is an LGBTQ owned business that specializes in vintage furniture, decor, accessories, clothing, and we're gonna see it all. I am already in heaven and we've been here for like five seconds. Can't wait to go look at everything. Look at her spinning up there. That's where I want to be. This is a fur lined frame coat. It's not my size. It's also $250, but I love it. I'm glad it existed and that it remains to exist. on my home, the sequin section. <gasps> I need it, I need it. I just started hyperventilating because I've been looking around flower tires this whole time, enjoying seeing the pieces for small folks, but wishing they were in my size. They have a plus size vintage section. Ah, it's so hard to find plus size vintage. I'm gonna dig in. Actually, I'm gonna dive in. I feel like this is very like Blanche Devereaux on the one eye. Um, also, the sleeves are here. Oh, I know. That's why I like it. Look. Buttons. Yes, get that and start the start. Yes. Oh my god, this is so cute. This is our room at the Joseph, the world famous Joseph, they told us as we checked in. Look at this whole little setup over here. Oh my God. QR codes, we love it. <laughs> there's art on the walls. We have two rooms. There's different art in both rooms, which is really cool. I feel like the vibe in here is very Mad Men, and I am really into it. Look at this. Also, the amazing city view. Look at these windows! I love it. That bed looks so comfortable. Let's test it out. Ready? We are here in the lobby of the Joseph. Now you've already seen the amazing rooms, but the lobby is something to see for sure. It has these tall ceilings, amazing art, but then there's like these little nooks that you can kind of relax in. You've got the bar behind you. 
Everything here just screams class, but it has culture. It has a nice feel that you just like walk in and you're like, I feel at home, but also I'm fancy, you know? And it's on High Street, the Joseph. So you are able to walk to a number of fantastic bars and restaurants and shops. So the location cannot be beat. The Joseph, it's amazing. We went to dinner at Bud Dairy, which is a brand new restaurant. It's actually a food hall. And I've been to a few food halls. Check out my where to eat in Fort Lauderdale. Love a food hall. This one was different because instead of going up to the individual stands, you actually scan and order on your phone. It's all like digital, which just felt very futuristic and it was really fun. Um, I love it because you can order different things from different places and you don't have to like have a meal that's like, if you want an egg roll and a chicken finger, you can do that and I, I love that. This is me right now, I need a bev. We went to Swish Social and we had a ice cream sandwich. We had exhausted parent ice cream with a couch potato cookie. It was so good. Their neon sign says treat yourself and I felt like we indulged. Oof, had to get right into bed because we had a long day with Experience Columbus and long in the best possible way. Now we are back here relaxing and getting ready for another day tomorrow in Columbus and I can't wait. We started out at Easton, which is a shopping center that was the first place I ever went as a kid that was like mix of a mall and outdoor shopping. I had never seen anywhere like this and I'm pretty sure we'll fact check this that this was one of the first of its kind because Columbus is actually like a style and fashion mecca. A lot of major brands are headquartered here. So um, a lot of stuff is tested out here first, which is so cool. And Easton is one of those places that is the first to get a lot of different stores. The Lane Bryant flagship store is here. So Easton is really cool. We're moving in. We're moving into Restoration Hardware. There's a couch called the Cloud Couch. And like, look at this bed. I've never seen heaven in a bed like this. To the ceiling. So we can take a nap after brunch here, right? Yes. See you later. Oh, it actually doesn't move. We are here at the Restoration Hardware restaurant. Now, you're like me, you grew up knowing that Restoration Hardware makes these immaculate, fancy furniture pieces, but when you are at the Columbus Easton location, they have this stunning restaurant, absolutely stunning. You walk in, the aesthetic is immaculate. There's chandeliers hanging from the ceilings, fountains, booths with pillows, and the food matches the vibe. Ooh, they have avocado toast. Oh my god. Listen to this. RH Scramble Farm Eggs Creme Fresh Avocado Chives. And you can add summer truffles. What is creme fresh? I don't know, but it sounds fancy. <laughs> everything is so good so this is one of the best meals that we have had um, in a long time certainly because we've been eating a lot of takeout thanks to covid but let's talk about this food okay i saw truffle on the menu multiple times and i was like we're getting it we're getting it we're getting it so we ordered two appetizers the crispy artichokes and this fancy cheese that i'm just going to put here because i don't know how to pronounce it but it was amazing it had strawberry preserves this amazing baguette everything was so good and then we had to move on to the main courses I ordered a scramble and I'm not usually a, br a breakfast person if I have the opportunity to do lunch but I was like you know what I'm gonna try it and it was amazing it was eggs scrambled with truffle on top when I tell you this meal was just heaven going into my mouth it was so good and avocado my favorite little feature is that the butter that you put on the bread and the toast it had salt in it like coarse salt 
so good, so good. LA had truffle grilled cheese. Again, immaculate. The cheese was melting out of it when we got it. And then we shared some fries with some amazing aioli. We had cold brew coffee. We had mimosas, bellinis. Everything was amazing. The service was really great. We had an amazing experience with the manager and yeah, it was good. So we cannot recommend this place enough based on the aesthetic and the food. It's the perfect combination if you want a little treat yourself moment, which this is a treat yourself weekend, okay? We are in the Milo Arts District. It's actually pretty close to where we were yesterday at Flower Child. This is 934 Gallery, and there's some amazing art all outside, very COVID friendly, and yeah, I'm just taking it in. It's cool to see street art, and we're gonna be later going to the art museum, so you know, I like both, and I can appreciate them both as amazing art. Next, we went for drinks and a little snack ski at Union Cafe, which is a gay bar, and I was loving it. I walked in and I was like, I feel at home. Lady Gaga was on the screen. I felt like I was right back in um, Boys Town in Chicago, so it was like a really great feeling, and I kind of had no idea that that was really here in Columbus, so to know that I can kind of live my boys town life here in Columbus only two hours away is amazing uh, we had some really nice strong drinks and some chips and guac so that was really good then we went to the Columbus Museum of Art and it was so cool well, here's the best piece of art in the whole thing. oh me oh me <laughs> We got to walk around and see some of their exhibits. What I really liked about it is that there was, you know, a mix of sculptures and paintings and installations. And I really, there was a section that was about gender and identity and race. And I fe felt like that was really interesting. It felt really contemporary and really like now, which is what I like to see from art. For our last supper in Columbus, we went to the Lincoln Social Rooftop. I'm telling you, this is the hottest spot in Columbus because there was a long wait to get in, but it was actually super worth the wait. I'm not a person that likes to wait, but I'm telling you it was worth it. And the vibe and the aesthetic was like very cute. There's a floral wall that says Lincoln Social. There's uh, vines and lights hanging from the ceiling. The music felt like very much like you were in a club, which I was into. Got a little bop on, not much, cause I don't really dance. And the food was like small bites, but you know, we've d done a lot of eating today. So I was already like, small bites is perfect. That's all I need. So we had lobster, I had lobster corn dogs, LA had hummus, and then we split some tater tots with Gouda, like dip, amazing. They were amazing. Um, and then we had s'mores pops, which had like a nice toasty taste. They really somehow tasted like they had been toasted over a campfire, which clearly, I mean, maybe there was a campfire on the rooftop kitchen. I don't know, but it, it that's what it tasted like and it was amazing. So we are back now at the Joseph getting ready to rest and recharge for our last stop tomorrow morning. And then we're headed back to Cleveland and I already can't wait to come back to Columbus. We are getting ready to leave Columbus and it is so hard to say goodbye, but the good thing is that this is the best staycation in Ohio. It's only two hours away. We will absolutely be back to Columbus. So thank you again to Experience Columbus for having us and hopefully we'll see you here again soon. Bye.